Okay, so what is the uh, what is the consensus on this thing? Oh, what are you doing, dude? What are you What are you doing? Are you leaving me a note? Are you Are you leaving me a note? Dear Mongo, we thought Bob living in your house would prompt you to move out, but it seems that was not the case. By the way, weird noises are coming from over by the tree farm. Some of us are a bit worried. Oh, I'm, I can explain all that. Um, uh, I'll explain all that later. Uh, oh, and we're also hungry. If you're going to build some more, how about build out some farming so we can eat? Signed us. Sure, dude. Sure. We got that. We got it. All right. Now, I have went ahead and prepared the area where I'm going to be putting in these farms. As you can see, I've got a nice little feel going on. And I did already the pistons because those are simple. But if you really want to build this out, I'm not going to go too far in depth with it. But basically, the way I've made it work is one, two, three, four, five oh, long of dirt. Go down a level, then do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that'll take water that's going to sit up behind these pistons and push it all the way down to the edge of that water. Now, we have to fill in the rest of the water because on either side and underneath this little thing here, which I will show you, is water that's to irrigate the crops to make sure that they are uh, irrigated. But we're going to do the same thing on the other side and then we'll put water in this trough here on that side and on this side Oh, am I, am I full? I am full. I am full. Oh boy. Let me just do that for right now. <laughs> Keep that out of the way. Anyways, uh, yeah, so let's, we have a little thing on top for our, our stuff. Stick here. So let's go ahead and put in this first one. So I can get the empty bucket and then I can put a a second one in. See, it goes all the way down to the end. Now, that wouldn't be a problem, but we want to cover it up to make it look pretty. And when we do that, you're going to lose... You're going to lose the... Um, the secondary, you know, this channel here. So, because watch what happens here. So, we want to cover this one up because we want it to be able to do this. You know, and then all of a sudden... We do that to get the other one to go. Okay, so you know that now we filled in that water trough on that side. Like I said, I've done it on the middle and on the other end the same way. I just want to do the last one to show you. And now we can put in the rest of this uh, monstrosity as it is. Now, the problem with these pistons is that you need to have them be extended all the way up so that water can sit behind them and not flow out. Because when we flip the switch that's going to be down over here, that'll lower. We're going to reverse the flow on the, on the redstone and have the uh, lever lower the pistons, not extend them. So we need some repeaters because we can't put uh, just straight uh, redstone beside each other. So we're going to need some repeaters. Now the repeaters are, as we've said before, you need to have a one of these and then... Actually, I'm going to need to utilize part of my <laughs> part of my stuff here. So you, you use one of them, and then you can make the repeater with uh, with some regular stone and redstone torches. So we have to go cook up some re some regular stone. and We will be right back. What are you coming to see, dude? <laughs> you usually don't go that far. You just are there. All right, we've got our stone. So now we can make our redstone repeaters. Our redstone repeater. Oops, let's just do all of what we need here. Okay, now we've got the repeater. So now we need to make a bunch of these. And you need one for every other. So if we put one down here, we put one down here, and we do dir, 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 dir. And if we make a lever, which we're going to, you know, undo this lever and use it later on, but we can make ahead of time, that's fine. See, those go up. Now, we are going to show you right now how to make it go the other way. So we want the 
it when we want it to be up. And the, re oh, the way you do that, and of course we have to build another repeater, because I'm never going to make it. Never going to make it. Whoop. We're going to put it right there. And we need to put a torch there. On this side. So, as you can see, right now, we've got... We've got the pistons that we set up on, but when we flip the switch, it's going to turn them into the reverse position so that they are off. We've, we've created a, a reverse circuit here a little bit by putting in this going down into the bottom of a block with a torch on top of it and then the rest of the way. Now i got to build a repeater in because i got to make it all the way to the other end of that uh, of this stretch. So we're going to make those and come back in. One two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we do seven, we should be in good shape. So let's make seven more repeaters, and then we can just wire up this bitch and be done. All right. So we need more torches. So we need two torches. We need 14 torches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I got five. I need to make more wood, though. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. 14. Boop. And then our repeaters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So every other, every other one, we go one. Huh. Heh. 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 And here. And then we put redstone along and in between each one. Like that. Now, as you can see, it only went this far. Only went that far. That means I need to have another repeater in order to make this set. Now, I put one in, but it's going to be a little... It's not close enough. I need to put another one in. So, we're going to put another one in. <clears throat> right... Eh, let's put it right here. We, we're getting some of a signal here, so if I put one there, I should be in good shape. Now they all go up. All right, now they all go up. That's what we wanted to have happen. That's what we wanted to have happen. So now if we turn this off, they all down. We want it on because we're gonna be putting in water next. This is the crucial point. Now, because we have this set up in this fashion, if we put water here right now, we're going to destroy all of this. So actually, I did this wrong and we need to start over again. If I put the cobblestone wall here and then put in a tree then put in all of my repeaters where did the rest of my repeaters go hold up a second I lost some repeaters somewhere no I didn't oh, I just moved it out too far I wasn't paying attention Now we wire it up. Sorry. There we go. That's what I wanted to have happen. You gotta make sure... See, wire redstone is, you know, and I don't want to hear any of this bullshit about, oh, I can do that in three less redstone. I don't care. <laughs> you do it. You figure it out, you go on. This is me doing this, not you. So let's build our trough for the water next. And this will keep our water from flowing anywhere but where we want it to go. On the back side, just draw all of our circuitry. And now we just fill in. I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Put in one here. Put in one here. And then we can... We want to have water supply, water source blocks behind everything. All 
All right, all water source blocks. There we go. We good. That's it. All right. Now, take one from here. Put it there. That'll flow down into that little hole, which is fine for now. We're gonna we're gonna put in the rest of the stuff there, and then go all the way over here. Uh oh, is it getting dark? Shit, getting dark. Hold on a second. Uh, sorry, a little sip of my coffee. And a night's sleep, and we're good to go. Coming on back. So, we've got water now. Uh, well, I didn't want to do that, but oh well. We've got water flowing in both of these channels. And then we need to build out the rest of this. What, what's going to happen? This is our collection device. So, we need to go build a couple of hoppers. Okay, hopper. So it's a V shape of a iron around that. Nothing in here. I can take this now. You come with me. Come down here. Alright. <clears throat> Put our chest down here. No, not our baked potato. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know what that was about. And then we put our hopper facing into the back of the chest, as we usually do. Now, anytime something flows here, it will flow into that uh, to, to the stream and be fine. Now, Mongo, we've got a problem here, Mongo. You see this? This water? That's not good. That's not going to happen. All the stuff's going to collect here, right? Right? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> so, that's why we have a slab, because we can put the slab right there. It'll block off the water, but we can still get into the chest. Okay, now, now that we got that, let's do a quick demonstration. All the water, all the water flowing down. Look at it going. It's having a good old time there. Look at that. Look at that. Now, let's take out some of our inventory and just toss it into the wind. Toss it everywhere. We flows really quick nowadays. Not like it used to. It used to just hang in the water, I think. I don't think it ever, you know, physics ever worked like that before. Alright. Everything's flowing into the hopper, and it's now flowing into the chest. How about that? We can put that there, cover it up. Now it's good to go. Whoop. And then we need to turn this off and then do the next thing, which is planting. Alright. Get out, you hoe. And as you can see, once we've tilled the ground, you can see where I have that channel of water underneath that wall to, uh, you know, irrigate the crops. And because it can go four spots out, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you know, we, we've got plenty of, uh, plenty of, plenty of irrigated crops. I'm not going to have to worry about that at all. All right, got it all carved out. Now we can put in all of our crops. And we're going to do, like I said, we're going to do a wheat on one side, and we're going to do carrots, potatoes, and beets on the other side. So, oh, this is a problem now. This is a real problem. Can I get up here without... Okay. And it's going to take about two hoes to get this done. All right. You're going to be very careful jumping around on this stuff. You don't want to... Definitely do not want to have anything uh, happen to your tilled land. You'll have to re-till re re it, which is not a big deal, but it's a pain in the ass. All right, because we have eight across, we're not going to get uh, our usual yield like we did from our other farm. We're going to just do a little bit simpler. So, two lines of beets. Don't do much for us. It's more potatoes and, and that. I gotta. Ooh. Get in here now. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and I'll do. Eh! Do another row of beats. Who cares? Doesn't matter because you have to replant. That's the only problem with this is you're gonna have to replant everything. Time around. 
it like I said it's semi-automatic it's not not fully automatic and you don't have to make it this small or this big you can make it whatever size you want it does not matter it does not matter it can be as big or as little as you want you can expand it you can I mean you can make basically make an entire field of this stuff it does not matter all right there we go we are fully planted now there we go <coughs> gonna pretty it up and that'll finish up this project we can you know make it make it so nobody can get into it we could cover it with glass whatever you want to do as long as the sun can get to it long, as long as the light gets to it as long as the water gets to it it's in good shape so there you go that's an entire thing and we'll go do other stuff and come back and I'll show you how it works and we'll replant so there you go okay while that is happening let's work on another quick farm this is a very simple very simple farm this is going to be our melon uh, and uh, a pumpkin farm. So you can see I've already put in a little bit of the work. This is a trough behind here for all the water. And uh, this is our troughs here to collect everything flaws into here. It's going to go into this space right here. And that's going to be our where our, everything is collected. We're going to put a hopper there. So we need to right there. Now, we need to go make some stuff for this. We need eight, uh, I think eight comparators and nine pistons. Now, comparators we really haven't made yet. Comparators are, or I'm sorry, observers. Observers, we haven't made observers yet. I've told you about observers and we're gonna show you more about them as we get into it. Uh, let's see here, an observer, observer is cobblestone, two redstone dust, and nether quartz. Yes, that's right, Lucy. That's right. So let's get ourselves enough of that to make. So we got cobblestone, we've got red nether quartz, and we've got redstone. We should be able to make a comparator now. Should we not? We should be able to. Maybe not. Only I don't know my andesite for my cobblestone. <laughs> So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. And then we need to make some pistons. Which, the pistons, we need nine of them. I can only do four of them, what am I missing? Uh, I'm missing wood. Yes, I'm missing some wood. Nope. All right. Now they can make them. Might as well make a chest while we're at it for the collection of everything. And then the piston. Uh, what am I missing on the piston? I got the rich. I'm missing iron. Oh, I ran out of iron. Well, well, we'll figure it out. Let's get this done. We'll, oh, ouch. So, okay. Now, melons. Hello. Melons and pumpkins will grow a stock on a tilled block. So we go one... Huh. 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 And then the pumpkin seeds. And there. And there. And that doesn't matter. I'm doing this for the hell of it. I think uh, pumpkins are just as good as, as melon. Not that big of a deal. All right. Now, when the stock grows, the pumpkin or melon will fall onto one of the other surrounding blocks that are of, of you know, with dirt. Or, you know, so we need to have that. But we need to have an observer tell us, tell us what's happening here. So if you think about an observer, this circle, what you're facing, that is, that is the back. Where the face is at is the front. So we need to go up here and observe. Nope, that was way off. I'm not going to be able to do this, am I? Oh, yeah. There we go. We'll just have to replace all this. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's bad. That'll be bad. It'll be fine now. It'll, it'll be fine. Let's put this one in here so we don't have to worry about it. Mm. 
Nope. Well, that made things worse. Crap. You sit there for a second. I may have just made everything bad. There we go. Okay, now what we have to do is, next to each observer, put your piston, and when the observer detects this stock have pushed, you know, changing a state from being the stock itself to stock hanging over with a melon or a pumpkin on the next block, it will then activate, and that will activate the um, the piston because, of course, you know, observers have a redstone signal on them, so they will do that. Now, we will need uh, the redstone itself has to go behind each one of these make this work. Because the redstone will carry through each one. And then let's we need to get it to go well, take a bit to work. Do I have any more bone meal in me? No I don't. Well we'll take a look take a little quick quick, quick uh, take a quick break and come back for that. Up oh, see something happened. I don't know what happened there. They changed state. Because they because they're growing. Is that because they're growing? I think it's because they're growing. But that's cool. That's what we want to have happen. Okay, now, I need a hopper. They must... Every time they change, they grow a state. Like, the, that's a, gro a growth tick is a change in the state of what's on that block. And therefore, that's why that I need to get... Yeah, I, uh, I got the iron for the... Iron... I got the iron for the damn... Uh, piston, but I forgot to get iron for another, for the, for a hopper. I really did not think very well ahead. We, oh, we gotta take a, we gotta go to sleep, too. Go to sleepy, sleepy. Oh, I need to eat, too. Ooh. I'm in. Yeah, I had to do a, a little bit of re-engineering on the, uh, the old farm. That's only because of the proximity. You shouldn't have that problem. I chose to put it there, which is kind of a dumb thing, but I wanted to sort of keep them all together instead of having this, um, you know, all spread out all over the place. So, we need... I gotta go. I have my reserves of iron. I keep finding more iron places, but I have to get more. So let's get that hopper. Let's get the hopper built. Should only need the one. We'll keep the rest in case we do. We have enough wood to make a chest for that. We need to make another chest for the collection, and then this one will be done as well. Wee, oh, teeny. Look, our, everything's growing mu nicely. That'll be done soon. We can run that as a test. All right, so now. All right, uh, put that here. Uh, we need to make a chest, don't we? Yes, need to make a chest. We need to make a chest. Uh, ba -da -ba. Oh, well, okay. I had all that. I guess I didn't need it. But it's fine. Not using it for anything else at the moment, just for this. Okay. Put a chest in for everything. And then, because our piston right there. Alright. You may have wanted to reverse the order of these things, but we'll see. So now everything should be fine. Now, I should still have a slab. I did have a slab. I must have dumped it off. Shoot. Uh, slabby, slabby. Don't have a slabby. And I need to go to sleep, so we'll go get that for next. All right. I also got some glass because it'll help out. Now, this will keep things from flying out, so I'll just put that there to sort of give a cover, and then we can just still open that up, and hopefully, and then we'll show you some things here. So let's say... Let's go down to that... They fly right into there. You've seen that before. Nothing new. All right, now let's cover up this mess. I got some. I cooked up some glass. Might be a myth. Might not be enough. Uh, depends on what we try to, to do here. Oh, oh, no more things. I wouldn't suggest using glass panes for the simple fact that the melon or pumpkin might pop off and hit the edge of the glass pane and sit on your wall and not flow into the chest. So that would not be good. 
if, uh, you know, for efficiency's sake. There we go. All right, I have plenty. All right. And then we just cover up the rest. This is not, uh, I mean, I'm utilizing many different people's designs for things that I want to incorporate because of the way they look. This is a Mr. Killer 13. Mr. Killer 13 on YouTube there. He is the one in which I got this design from. Hoping that it works out fine. I should probably use something other than cobblestone, but you know, eh. We can always cover it up with other things and make it look pretty. If we want. If we want to do. But uh, that's two simple farms for you now. Well, simple in the case that it doesn't take much ingenuity to build. It just takes some materials, in which we are really good on materials, because of, except for iron, because of our uh, pick of fortune that got us all that nether quartz. And those observers are going to be good. Those, those observers, as I will show you, will be used in the... Um, let's get out of the mine. The observers are going to be used in showing you how to build your um, bamboo, sugarcane, uh, and the... Yeah, bamboo and sugarcane, the main two fields. The cactus one that we're going to build only uses a glass pane uh, in detection. Like I, like I said, cactuses don't like to grow next to things. So cactuses will always try to, uh, you know, grow their next bit and then they will fall off because they don't like to be next to stuff. Uh, sugarcane is the same way. Sugarcane is an easy one because... You're going to spend more in pistons than you are... You're going to spend more in iron than you are in, uh, in redstone or quartz on those ones because of the idea that you can use one observer. And while it's not exactly the most... Um, it's not, not the fastest farm. You know, because it's, the idea would be to have... Like this one here, I could make this cheaper. I could make this without all these observers. I could just have one observer. And then let these ones grow, and then have that one. But that would cost me more redstone. So, you know, there's a trade-off somewhere. You're either going to spend more in quartz or redstone, or you know, more in iron or you know other things. So, you really, you know, you can only you only have to use one uh, one observer, like I did for the bamboo farm, and let everything else grow. And if it if 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 it's only got one or two, you know, growth on the stock, and you hit the other ones has 16 and hits that that mark that's so be it don't really matter right it, it's all dependent on how you know how how you care about uh, as far as you know efficiency uh time and you know effort you know, like if you have a a thing about that well then you know that's up to you to figure out the aesthetics so this is just simply does it get the job done and can i ow incorporate it into my thing there we go okay so now we've got this totally enclosed melon and um pumpkin farm and all it requires is uh, now you, you don't need sunlight here's the thing you don't need sunlight for the simple fact that I've grown these things underground when I go into mines I, uh, you know when we go to the, the abandoned mine shafts and stuff like that I set up my own little thing like little little base underground and I you know that's the one thing about you don't need light to farm that's, that's just the funny thing about that don't need light to farm all you need is you know, we're gonna light up the top of this sucker because I don't want anything I don't want anything spawning up here. And I actually kind of need to do that a little bit on everything. So we're going to have to go build some torches and, and whatnot. And look up there. Whoop. Uh, so there you go. Once it gets to a point where ooh, it's got uh, fully grown stocks, those pistons won't fire together. They'll fire at random depending on when there's a block next to things. Uh-oh. I think maybe I need to light up underneath here. Uh very possible that a skeleton has decided to, uh... I don't know that it's gonna matter, but... There's a skeleton somewhere, and there really shouldn't be any... Uh, unless it's, like, underground. <laughs> you know what? I just realized what's underneath here. Way back in the beginning, we, we found that big, huge hole that had the, uh... Uh, the dirt, like the, the pathway was down inside of it, and we found some coal there and, and some iron. That's what's down below here. So yeah, there's probably some monsters down in that hole, because I didn't fill it in, I just covered it up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So there we go. Okay, oh, we gotta get back to the house. 
Oh boy, I don't know how much more we got left to do, but we're gonna do some more. I, you know, I could actually, the thing I could do, I could cover this all up with dirt, kind of make it look like it's part of the landscape, and that might make this look more appealing. Um, as you can see, we're kind of, this, we're, getting, we're getting to the point, this is almost ready to harvest for the first time to do a test. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> to the house, to, to the bed. Lay our weary head. All right, now that everything has grown in, and I made a couple of changes, uh, and st uh, I, th I was having some issues, and I thought maybe uh, it might be too much stuff, but I think maybe it's just because it's being overwhelmed, so I'm at it in a second hopper. So let's try it out here. And there it goes. Everything's flying. Oh my goodness. Look at all that. Now you're going to see everything kind of sitting there. Look. Oh, it didn't work. No, nah, it's, it's going to work. It's just going to take a little bit of extra, extra time. <clears throat> Broken legs. But I moved it out here with an extra hopper. You can see things are starting to come in. It's just going to take a little bit of time because the hopper, I mean, there's so much stuff going on in the hopper. Now, if I wanted to, you know, take this and do something more with it, I would add in additional hoppers on the side, but I don't think I need to do that. It should be fine for as, for as much as I'm going to actually use this. It should be quite okay. But now i got to go back through and replant everything, which is going to suck. But, uh... Yeah, there you go. That's that's uh, that's that. All right, we'll uh, we'll move on to some other ones. Uh, we still got to do sugar cane. We still got to do what else? We got to do we do sugar cane and uh, vines or yeah, no vines. <laughs> we'll do more. We'll figure it out. Ow. So yeah, there you go. Have a good one. We'll see you back later. Bye bye. <laughs>